Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I showed you from where we could go ahead and download Kali Linux and the specific operating system that I would need and the VMware workstation. And if you want, you can also go ahead and use Windows XP or Vista that is what most people use. But I would suggest going ahead and downloading Windows 7 as well if you don't want to go ahead and spend uh, money on going ahead and downloading operating system then you can also anytime go ahead and I, although i don't support piracy but still you can go ahead and download the windows 7 activated versions and uh, activated versions on torrent and you can go ahead and download them you'll see a lot of these things and i st specifically state that i don't support piracy but still just in case I, I ought to believe that all software should be free so that's the reason i'm telling you that you can go ahead and download this um, but this is just for your home purpose that i would be suggesting you to download so once you have the windows 7 version and you might be wondering that why i am not asking you to go ahead and download the windows 8 the reason being that windows 8 and 8.1 though i am using it in my computer it has a hell lot of bugs trust me guys and if you go and download that then leave hacking behind you just have to go ahead and sit to go ahead and configure your operating system that's windows 8 or 8.1 to go ahead and solve its bug you will just be sitting to solve this bug rather than going ahead and learning them because that's what windows 8.1 will do so until unless you know your what you're doing windows 8 I, do, I won't suggest that because it has a lot of bugs in its updates so you need to be very careful when you are going ahead and downloading the updates for that so speaking of uh, Cal Linux, as you know how to go ahead and uh, download that, I'll show you how to install that and whenever you install any kind of operating system in a VMware, you will see it over here on the left hand side and whichever system you have. So I'll just go ahead and tell you how we can go ahead and start downloading the Cal installing the Cal Linux. So and just before I go ahead and show you how to install the Cal Linux, uh, I'll also go ahead and open my notepad. Let me check. Okay, so there are a few different ways as to how we can go and install the Cal Linux. The first and the most important way would be, I'll just go to note it down, would be through VMware. And the second would be on a physical operating system, which would be the same, uh, it would al almost be the same as VMware. And the third one would be it would just be a bit different the physical operating system and third a way of to install would be dual booting with windows the fourth way would be to go ahead and and this is one of the toughest way because i know that a lot of people would be using macintosh or a mac uh, rather than a normal laptop the reason being that it's far more faster and software to use to that operating system but still uh, there would be some people who want to dual boot it on a Cal Linux I know that people who are using MacBook will not uh, go ahead and replace uh, Macintosh OS X but still there are ways how you can go ahead and dual boot that so I'll also go ahead and teach you that in this tutorial and this would be for the OS X version and the last and the uh, final one would be I'll just go ahead and mark it is important I'll just go ahead and let me check if I could increase the font okay perfect and the last and the most important thing as to how if you ask me or any penetration tester uh, how they actually go ahead and use they don't is use it in any specific pc or uh, any laptop the reason being that it leaves uh, although cal linux is extremely or i can say the best operating system we ever had in uh, penetration testing or hacking it's still there's still ways how a let's you can say as there's still ways uh, uh how a forensic investigator can go ahead and trace it back to you that is the reason most people don't go ahead and install it physically either vmware or any other thing if you're using vmware then i would suggest also going ahead and downloading the hunix version because that uh, makes you almost anonymous and just in case you don't know what hunix is i'll also go ahead and show you it is an operating system which goes ahead and makes you anonymous when going ahead and let's say downloading something or uh, browsing something but still it depends upon how you go ahead and browse the internet or someone can still trace it back to you if you're not smart enough so and i won't be teaching you how to install unix the it was just an example of that so but uh why go through all of this trouble when you can simply keep your uh, physical operating system windows or mac the way you want it and without interrupting anything 
no VMware or spending money, no physical operating system, no dual booting, anything. You can, there is still a way how we can go ahead and use Cal Linux. And that is called as Live USB or Live Cali. That's what it is known as. And inside that we have again two different methods that would be normal installation or the second one would be the persistent way. Persistent way. And I would suggest going through the persistent way. Uh, the reason being that I won't tell it to you right now, but with the, when I would be going ahead and teaching it to you, I will show you. And so coming back to the VMware, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you how we can go ahead and install that. You just need to go ahead and type, uh, click on the create new virtual machine. And we will be using the custom because we need to know exactly what we are doing next. It's a VMware workstation 9. Perfect. So these are the limitations for this uh, VMware workstation 9. 64 GB memory, 8 processor limit and 10 network adapter limit and 2 TB hard disk size.